Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 12 on a five bedroom house that we are putting up for Steven and Esther. And this project is located at Elmina KEEA. Apparently we are working on the substructure. Okay. And your view is a 3D representation of the beautiful five bedroom house. Okay, it's a hidden roof and the argument of the day is that a hidden roof cheaper compared to that of pitch roof? Yes. I've spent several analysis and conversations with other engineers. It is concluded that pitch roof are expensive compared to that of a hidden roof. It depends on what you want to put in as well. So this architecture design was done by Mr. Frank Hammond's firm. Mr. Frank Hammond is an electrical engineer. Okay, he does air condition, okay, ducting air condition, cassette recess, okay, split air conditions. He does American wiring 110, 220 system as well. And he's well vexed in structural engineering. So in case you need him for supervision, you can always contact Mr. Frank Hammond. In your view, it's a breakdown of the five bedroom house and this structure uh, the estimate does not include the finishing this is only the block work from the foundation to the roofing level where we're going to provide the wood trusses for to receive the roofing it does not include the price of the roofing sheet this estimate was prepared as at a time when a dollar to ghana cities was one dollar to twelve ghana cities and hence it will not be valid in this our current time because we all know Ghana prices keep changing and therefore I'm picking this clue from my brother Prince and Nikki he did mention something in one of his videos that estimates are not permanent you know and I believe that in my current estimate I'm going to put a clause in there that this estimate is valid only for a certain period of time and when that period elapses, means that we need to revise the estimate. Some people, when you prepare estimate for them, they keep it for one year and they come back and they still want you to use the same estimate. And I think it is uncalled for. Okay, so remember that estimates will have a duration. It has a period. In your view, you're seeing the beautiful five bedroom house. Um, Steven is the foreman right here. My still bender, Mr. Isaac Gomado, and for the uh, plumbing works, Mr. Frederick Owusu, carpentry, Mr. Samuel Edu. Okay, they did all the work right here. And uh, currently, you're seeing that the still bender has you know, positioned all the rebars, okay, all the columns. We are using 16 mm rod because it's a story building, six rod in a sterile, okay. All the plumbing works done, the rain gutters all positioned. Okay, we don't have, we don't want any pipe, you know, protruding on the wall, dangling on the wall, dancing on the wall when the whole project is completed. So if it's a rain gutter which will collect water from the rooftop, all those pipes should be hidden and it should be a pressure pipe. Okay, the service line, if you're going to have a solar water heater system, it is always important because you know the old method of water heater system is not encouraging recently you heard that a man and his sons got electrocuted you know through a water heater and that is very dangerous um, most people you know they don't want to spend money for electricals employ the competent people to do electrical wiring okay it should be grounded okay or there should be what we call equipotential equi bonding okay the entire house together with your burglary proof all should be an equipotential equipotential means at zero po points okay at zero where all the points meet and you have zero measurement equipotential are you with me yes yeah, so make sure that you employ the right electrician or um, electrical engineer to do all your wiring okay and that is why it is advisable to um, employ a solar water heater system now because with that um, there's no connection in the room you don't do a lot of buying each bathroom trying to get a water heater installed in each of the bathroom no this is solar 
and it's being heated by solar and it's on the rooftop and it supplies the entire room are you with me all right in the in your view this is the round pillars being down by mr samuel amankwa each pillar he charged me 500 ghana cities in total i paid 3000 for all the round pillars you would have to provide him cement he used uh, he uses a lot of cement honestly and he uses 42.5 r that's all he want to use and, and i like it okay so each pillar from the ground level to the slab level is one 500 ghana so we have total of six pillars right there okay but some of the pillars are continuing to the first floor so that's double so he's going to charge you thousand ghana cities for that so in my case two of the pillars will be protruding they'll be projecting to the first floor so i paid double for that one so those two pillars that are continuing from the ground to the first floor that's two thousand you understand yes so this is the carport okay and from the carport we have two carport here okay so from the carport you are entering into a corridor okay yes you are ushered into a corridor and once you are in a corridor to your immediate right that is just the end of the corridor and has a window that makes you see who is on the terrace or the porch and then when you turn around your immediate left that is the staircase area okay to your immediate left is the staircase area and to your right that is going to the hall to your immediate right from where the guy came from that is the guest room and where he's heading that is the laundry okay so here he's entering into the living area or the living space which includes that of the dining are you with me yes that includes that of the dining so everybody is working together we are all together working and showing that whatever money we receive to undertake a project it is being done properly you understand some people would have you know rented the mode and allow the masons to do the casting but for me i don't go that way everybody and his work and i want to make sure i get the professional for that work some people cast pillars and the pillars are crooked you understand they cast the pillars and the pillars are not uniform but i want to make sure if you're mason you're doing masonry work if it's a pillar mode man he's going to i'm going to employ a pillar mode man because they will have time and patience for the job they are not much in a hurry you understand yeah a carpenter a carpenter okay a plumber a plumber you understand and that is how i do my things okay so this is the laundry okay the laundry has an exit so you can have two washing machines with an ironing board right there and then this is the kitchen store the kitchen store has a window and from here you're entering into the big kitchen space the kitchen has um, a kitchen island with a wash basin in the middle okay she's gonna have a freestanding a banner okay and therefore it's not gonna be a hub with a hub mostly you know it hasn't come with the oven so the oven will be separated you understand as a freestanding um, stove it's, it comes with the banner and that of the stove underneath all right this is the side view of the house it looks nice and beautiful the height of the room the windows are quite spacious sometimes people do understand that you know if you have a smaller window it doesn't actually help by the time they finish the plastering and put the window frames the window becomes very small if based on architecture it has to be small then that's fine that is for beauty but it's sometimes you need a bigger window for proper ventilation uh, in in most cases we don't actually position house to the direction of the wind and all of that so sometime after completing your house the wind direction is different and you're feeling hot in your room you understand so all these things need to be incorporated having enough windows at any given direction you can have some air coming into your room so this is the back of the building i just love it okay everything done in proportion according to the pillars positioned very well mr samuel Edu did a fantastic job here so you can see that the bitumen coating it's sticking properly in most cases some people do bitumen coating and when it rains you see them get washed away you understand it get washed away but this has been done properly 
it is standing firm okay it's sticking properly okay i think that area they need to apply some mortar to make it um to seal that hole over there it is very very important okay yes so this is the front okay um we are using six inches quarry dust block it is a solid one it is six inches it's a quarry dust okay yes that is all we are, we are using and the cement we are using 42.5 r for the entire project okay yes you can as well use 32 but it depends this is not my work if the client want to use that most people of late they don't even want to hear 32.5 r <laughs> yes they just go with 42 and that's it and in all my estimate that's what i use to ensure that someone does not come to me and complain that why are you using this for my project people have different opinions you understand yes it is very very important it is very very important so this will be episode 12 and i'll be coming your way with the final episode and then we did a cleaning up make sure everything was done we packed everything the boards were packed properly and so phase two is coming to a completion where we're going to be waiting for the lovely couples to get another money for the phase three so phase one was the foundation phase two is the substructure okay and phase three will be the decking phase four will be the first floor block work to roofing you see how i break things down for people it make it easy for them to know how much to, to budget and how long it's going to take them to get that money and then we're going to come on board and prepare everything and just move so when we come if it is one month we have to work we are there every day you know we are there every day so you are happy it makes you feel like it makes me feel as though you are even right there watching it you understand yes you can do a live video we can do a conference and you will see exactly what is happening live in Khaled the entire area cleaned up okay and this is how we do our work so beautiful so beautiful and i'm so happy that you know i'm working on this project i'm changing the narrative and making people smile if you love this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't okay share the videos to people that need it people who need our help people that are vulnerable and they need my support i am here to support and help you okay send me your drawings i'll prepare it i will charge you for the estimate and then we'll proceed to do your work for you from me to you it's shalom god bless you wherever you are Bye bye